Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Muna Shibal and I'm a manifestation and soul realignment coach. My channel is geared towards helping you become your highest potential so that you can create and live the extraordinary life that is your birthright. In today's video, I'll be talking about how a third party may potentially be mirroring to you some inner assumptions about yourself that require work. But before we get started, just a quick reminder that I offer both email and video coaching. If you need help in manifesting your desires and you definitely want to check out my options below, I offer both email, video and face-to-face -face coaching if you are based in Dubai. So definitely check out the information. It's all in the description below. And also a reminder that I have this amazing self-concept in love course called Magnetically You. This was a course which I co-hosted with Nadine Russon, who's a relationship expert back in the summer and it's now available as a self-study course. So if you want to up-level your self-concept when it comes to love, you definitely want to check that out. The information is also in the description below. And of course, please do not forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon in order to receive a notification anytime I upload a new video. So let's get started. So today's video is all about what a third party is reflecting back to you. I always say you want to take your external circumstances as feedback. Feedback about what is going on internally, what needs to be addressed internally. Now I never say fixed because there's nothing to fix. It's just you identifying with something that you need to change it's kind of reminding you to stop identifying with a less than ideal story, something that's going to get in the way of your manifestation. So anytime you manifest a third party, be it in love or in, let's say, in a job or any form of competition, perceived competition, that third party is reflecting back to you something that you need to address within yourself. At a high level, the presence of a third party or what we see as competition in any shape or form is a reflection of something within you that needs to be addressed. Now, you may have a long held story of not being chosen, not being chosen for that promotion, not being chosen by your ideal partner, not being chosen for that job, whatever it is that you are feeling there's competition, you're feeling not chosen, but really it also boils down to something deeper than that story of you not being chosen. Because you may manifest that pattern in your life where you're not the chosen one, but why are you manifesting that? It's not just a story of a pattern that you're perpetuating, there's something behind it. There's a self-concept issue behind it. And at a high level, there's a sense of not feeling worthy in some shape or form. So you're not worthy of having that job or you're not worthy of manifesting the desired relationship with your ideal partner. There's always this element of worthiness. So a lot of the time, the manifestation of that third party is a reflection of inner assumptions that need addressing. But what are these? They're all self-concept, right? Even if you say, well, no, it's about what they need, what the other person, the specific person or the, the employer or whatever it is you're trying to manifest, what they need. Essentially, you're saying, well, what they need is not something I offer, right? So again, it's self-concept. It is really masking a sense of deservability, a sense of worthiness. But if you really wanted to find out what aspect needs work, just look at the third party. Look at what the third party is offering that you feel you don't have. They are actually a, an exact mirror of the issue you have. So if let's say someone got the promotion and you didn't get the promotion, what is it that that person offers that you feel you don't have? So you might say, well, they have connections. They got the job because they know someone. That's an assumption. You're saying that in order to get a job, I need to have connections and I don't have connections, so I can't get the job. Or you might say, well, they have more experience than me. And you're saying, I don't have enough experience. 
it's always reflecting to you the inner assumptions you have that are holding you back and you might say well well experience is important yes but your experience is also good you're the one who's saying it's not good enough you're the one who's saying it is standing in my way when it comes to love you're always manifesting in a third party what you think is lacking in yourself and a lot of the time it is based on external factors that are not all that important but you're the one who's giving them importance so let's say you might manifest a third party who's much more attractive than you are so you're essentially saying that I'm not good enough because I'm not that attractive but see, that's just an assumption. First of all, that you're not attractive. That's the first one. But the second one, you're saying that physical appearance is important in a relationship. Again, these are all assumptions. You might manifest, let's say, someone who's more interesting and fun and outgoing and popular and has a very interesting life. And you're saying, well, I'm not that interesting. I'm boring. Again, you're, you're making assumptions about yourself and you're saying that the, these assumptions are important for a relationship. You might manifest a third party who's much more successful than you. Maybe they're not more attractive, but they're more successful. So again, you're kind of manifesting all sorts of things that reflect your inner assumptions and what you think is important for you to get your desire. So it's highlighting an assumption that you have on why you can't get your desire first and foremost and then you're saying that i don't have that both of these are assumptions so first you need to release the assumption that this is needed for me to get my manifestation first and foremost second you want to change that assumption about yourself you have to stop saying I'm not attractive enough or I'm not smart enough or I'm not interesting enough or I don't have the experience or 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 stop identifying with that I am all everything that I choose to be I am beautiful I am smart I am interesting I just start identifying with what you want and then your physical reality will reflect that back to you it's not about even affirming like I was having this conversation with a friend of mine yesterday Sometimes just becoming aware that this is an assumption I'm holding on to allows you to release it. And you can say, well, I'm choosing now to believe something else. I'm choosing now to identify with something else. You always have the option to choose again. This is what Gabby Bernstein always says. Choose again, choose again, choose again. Choose an assumption that's serving you. I am all that. And don't put even a condition. I am worthy just because. I am deserving just because. Don't say I'm lovable because I'm beautiful. Don't say that because then you're going to always have someone, of course you don't need to manifest that, but there's always going to be someone who's more beautiful than you, right? There's always going to be someone who's smarter than you. There's always going to be someone who has X, Y, Z more than you. Just don't compare. Try not to look outside of yourself always look inwards and say i'm worthy just because i'm deserving just because just because i exist i am worthy this is what i spoke about in my video self-concept does not require justification i will link it above it is the first level or the foundation self-concept that you must hold on to i am worthy just because i am lovable just because it's about building yourself up from within just because without comparing and not justifying it with external stuff now the external stuff is always a preference like i like to be at my ideal weight i like to look a certain way that's a preference but that does is not what makes me lovable if that makes sense so distinguish your preferences from what makes you lovable it's just because i am amazing i'm amazing that's it again here it's about your spirit shining through you're unique in every sense of the word no one has had the experiences that you have had your perspective in this life how you've shown up in your life is what makes you so unique 
you are a unique part of all that is you are an individuated soul that came to experience things from your perspective and no one is like you you are unique just because you exist you are a perspective of all that is that is being experienced your spirit is unique your spirit is what makes you who you are it's not the external stuff it's not the cars that you own or your wealth it's not the way you look it's not your possessions it's not your position in life what it is that you do it's not the stuff that the ego identifies with if that makes sense it's your spirit it's the spirit within you that shines through you like no one else you are who you are for a reason you are lovable just for being you just for being authentically yourself and that has nothing to do with the external stuff the external stuff is a preference but it's not what i identify with if i like having a nice car it's because it's something i i enjoy right it's not because it makes me look better for other people it's not because it's for other people basically let's put it that way it's not because of other people like i don't identify myself with the car that i drive i don't identify myself with the number of followers i have on instagram or on youtube i don't identify myself with my position in life or the wealth that i portray to other people right i don't identify myself with the way i look with the size of my waist with all of that that's not who you really are that's not self-concept guys this is preference this is something i prefer to have because i just enjoy that right but it doesn't mean that if i don't have these things i'm not lovable that i'm not worthy that i'm not deserving very important to distinguish between the two and this is one of the things we spoke about in the self-concept course magnetically you we spoke about that self-concept does not require justification your self-concept is because you exist you are worthy if you didn't were not worthy you would not exist so the more you build up your self-concept and say i am lovable because i am me i am lovable just because i am worthy i'm deserving i'm whole and complete i am enough that is all that's needed and always use the third party as feedback on the assumptions you think are important and these are not necessarily important very important to use the third party as a mirror of what it is you are giving importance to it's not important you're the one who's making it important if that makes sense I hope you liked this video. If you did, then please hit the thumbs up. And I look forward to seeing you again in the next video.